No! No! I mean, this pleco is pretty big, brother. Actually covered in leeches. So these fish in here are being preyed upon by a bunch of parasites. Do so you know he's been fighting? On the surface. Right Where? There, right there. Oh! oh! Dude, I got it! Dude, there's a pleco in this hole. Oh, oh I got it! Oh! Look at that thing. I got it by its tail. Dude, that is awesome. Welcome back to Rob's Quads, guys. In today's video, we're going to be fishing the mud holes in these creeks to see if we could catch any exotic aquarium fish out of them. As you guys know, the plecos love to dig these mud holes in the sides of the canal, and they love to just hang out at them. So we're going to try to do that today, but before we get in the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. We just saw a snakehead right here, guys. I think I see him cruising down the canal right now that's not oh that is him you got him should i try to just net him so we got the snake head rolling in right here maybe we could try to get on top of him and get him when he's going into the tunnel because he's just cruising right now good start no no <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, was a big one. that was a big one. Well, now he's in the tunnel. He might even be in that sewer right there. Did we go sewer fishing right now, Zach? Well, let's see if he came to this side of the canal, guys. So the reason we're out here today is, oh my God, look at all the fish. Oh, I see some big peas. Oh, if I had the cast net on me. Some massive peacocks. Well, they're not, oh, I just saw some little snake heads and stuff. Dude, there's so many fish in the canal right now. If you guys are looking at what I'm seeing, the water clarity is super pure and the water itself is super low. So right now, guys, we're out here to try to catch some plecos and other fish out of the mud holes. So we're going to start getting ready. We're going to come back. You see how the creek right here has all these mud holes in it and you see it all white tilapia. I don't know if you saw him. Do you get him? No. Nah. Guys, there's so many fish right here. We probably will throw a cast net once we come back. But along this entire canal here, there's a bunch of mud holes in the side. So we're gonna start fishing some of the mud holes and see what we could come out with. There's a ton of fish in here, way more than I was expecting to see. We're just scanning the canals right here, guys, to see if there's some fish in here. I've been following them up the culvert and the water gets really low over this. Oh, dude, there's some fish in there. Hold on, hold on, let's pull over. There's some fish trapped in the creek right here. Oh, look, guys, look. <laughs> there's, a sh there's a fish trapped down. Uh, that looks like a tilapia. It looks like it swam up the creek and into this pool now. I don't know what other fish there could be in there. We're gonna grab him up real quick. We'll return him to the rest of the canal. Cause the way it dried up right here, everything kind of melts down to this one point. So we're gonna try our best to catch these guys out. He just happened to get himself stuck right there. There could potentially be fish in that creek right there. The only thing is to catch them out, I think I gotta put a bucket in that culvert and see if I could cover the hole so the fish can't escape from me as I'm trying to save them from this little trapped little pit right here, this mud pit. We'll pick him up real quick and then we'll grab our little bucket. Oh, yeah, this looks like it's a tilapia. Easy, easy scoop, it's a little fish. Right here, first fish of the day. I was trying to come out here to try to fish the little holes in the side of the creeks, like those mud holes. But it looks like we have to change plans and switch up the game plan because we're finding fish in this little pit right here. So we're gonna get to return him back to the canal and we're gonna put a bucket over that and keep fishing. We got the bucket right here. I don't know why I wasn't able to speak English for a little bit, but I just drank some water. It's the last hot day here in South Florida. So for a while at least, but we'll just get this down in there and start poking around in that creek to see if anything spooks. We might catch some fish, I'm not really too sure. Oh, oh, I think I see a fish down there. I just saw some water. I just saw some water move. Hold up, all right, we gotta get this in there ASAP. There we go, oh, <laughs> straight over the creek. And it looks like it's going to be the perfect size for this bucket. I'm able to just slide this bucket straight in there and then hopefully whatever fish could be in this creek won't be able to escape. Because with fish, what tends to happen is they love to find cover as soon as you disturb them. So just now we could have potentially scared out whatever fish in here back out, but we'll just get this completely situated in there. Yeah, that ain't going nowhere. There's no fish escaping us from this puddle. So we'll start taking a few nets and see what we could find. Nothing that first net. Take a look around here. We're gonna try to hit it from all angles. To the left, to the left. To the left? To the side of the, with the uh, thing. Right to your right, sorry. To your to right. right. My left, to your right. Did you see a fish? Yeah, right there. Right there. Where the palm tree is. <laughs> Where the palm tree? Over there? Let's see here. No, what the hell? No, there was one there. Well, we'll keep trying. Man, it's so murky in this. Oh, I see a pleco. Oh, hold on. Hey, buddy. Don't run from me, man. Don't run from me. We got a pleco chilling right here. Wow, he is dumb. <laughs> Dude, this is a pretty good. I might need another bucket, Zach. 
because I mean, this Pleco is pretty big, brother. This Pleco is pretty big, but I'll show you guys it up close real quick. This is what we came here today to do. I did not expect to find the mud pit that we did. Oh, perfect, it has leeches. So this is the second catch out of that mud pit, but I was contemplating keeping this for a backyard pond with Big Mama, but then I was thinking about it, this thing's probably loaded with parasites, and then I looked closer and it's actually covered in leeches. So these fish in here are being preyed upon by a bunch of parasites. We'll help them out and get them off. I crushed a few, and that's why there's blood. Oh no, is that my blood? There's a leech on me yo yo it's feeding on me right now dude it's really small show the other way i thought i thought i smashed it but i think it's trying to attach itself to me gross bro so we'll get the leech this pleco has blood all over it oh god the leeches are tearing him up but we're gonna get him back in the creek because we really can't do anything with this pleco i don't want to risk big mama's health by adding in some wild caught fish we haven't treated so i'll just get him back in the water on that side of the channel where he'll be able to find some more land or more water rather to run off to right back into the puddle oh i mean i could walk out in here a little bit i gotta make sure i don't lose my phone or anything in here I'll go through this like pretty organized like just to see what happens. There's a deep, deep puddle right here. You can see I'm sinking in actually. Could be something in here. Oh, oh, for a second I thought those leaves, these palm fronds was the tail of a big fish, but not quite. We'll dump that over there. We'll just keep netting around to see what we could find in here. I mean, I might even rip a cast net just depending on how I feel. Oh, <laughs> dude, you will not believe what I just caught in that net. <laughs> You won't believe this. This thing is massive. Oh my God. Dude, it was just chilling in the corner by the bucket. It was trying to escape. <laughs> no, so much better. You might actually want to keep it. It's too big for anything I've got, but look at the size on this Jaguar cichlid. Dude, this thing is a monster. Oh my God. Dude, we might have to keep this thing. Oh my God. I'll try to hold it over the net for a sec. Oh, I put my hand in his mouth. Definitely don't want to do that. He's got crazy teeth on him. Look at that. This thing could have been destroying all the fish in that pub, that mud pit, if he really wanted to. He's got marks on his face, so you know he's been fighting. So there's something in there he's going to battle with. I don't know what it is, but this is a monster <laughs> Jaguar cichlid. We'll definitely be keeping him and holding onto him while we try to figure out what to do with it, because this isn't something you come across every day. He is huge. Oh. Oh God, that is insane, dude. Oh my God. Well, luckily I've got a cooler on me. Oh, dude, look, there's a dead Pleco. Oh, it's not dead. Hold on, we'll get this guy in the cooler first and then we'll pick him up. You know what it could be? I just remembered, guys. So in our county, just recently, they dumped a bunch of herbicides into the creek. It's affecting the canals a lot. So that might be what happened to that Pleco right there. I'm not too sure, but we'll definitely pick him up and get him out of the water. Just so he doesn't rot in here. But right. also we gotta get this guy in a cooler. <laughs> I'm all over the place right now. This is insane. We got the jag right here. I got some water in the bucket or the cooler rather. He is an absolute beast of a jaguar. So I'll just get him in there. He's gonna do just fine. Threw a little bit of leaves in there to make him more comfortable. I'll kick the car on just so he, the aerator comes on. But we're gonna get back in the mud pit and see what else we could pull up. Right? The Placo right there, the dead one. Oh. We'll get to him in a second. We'll check on this Pleco and see what the deal is. It looks very dead to me right now. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I think it is. Oh my God. There's also this apple snail shell next to it. You could see whatever they threw in here is literally cooking these fish with chemicals. Look, see what happened to that apple snail shell? Oh, okay. That is not good. So this guy, it doesn't look like he died too long ago. No, this guy has looked like he's been dead for a little while. You can see not much happening with him right here. So we're going to get him back in the water. Well, actually, I might just throw him up on the creek or something for the raccoons to eat. Because, I mean, there's not much you can do with a dead Pleco. Man, that's sad, dude. But we'll get back in the creek, see what that mud pit's on about. And then we'll start fishing some of these mud holes to see if we could catch out more Plecos and save them from the drought they're experiencing in this part of the canal. I think I'm gonna do the same thing I just did where I came to the side of the culvert. Can I stand on this thing? The answer is yes, I can. <laughs> so I'm gonna stand on the culvert. Helps make sure the bucket's kept in place. Oh, there's structure down there. There's definitely structure. Nothing in that net. I can feel my face getting burned, dude. I don't know how many fish are left in here, guys. That could have been it. I'm gonna take a couple more nets just to see what happened, but I haven't touched a single fish in a long time. Oh, wait. For a second, I thought I felt something just now. There's structure down there, dude. I don't know what it is. How deep is this really? Oh, this is pretty good. This is pretty deep. I don't think I actually need them. I'm like just barely tall enough <laughs> to do this. 
Fish really like structure. That's why I'm hanging around this bucket because hard work, work. Zach, would you be able to do me a favor? Grab one of the cast nets, we'll lay it over this, and then uh, see if we can pull up anything in the cast net because this heat's really getting to me. And I still want to check out the mud holes before I completely cook and get exhausted, dude. Oh, dude, I just saw movement. Hold up. Bubbles, bubbles. <laughs> dude, no, I could have swore I punched a fish. Where, where, where? Tell me when I get close. Tell me when I get close. Uh, what, can you walk in the middle and like scare something away from that hole? Yeah. It's, they're, they're trying to get back into that culvert and they're sitting in this pocket. Feel around over there. Where could this be? Oh no, we're going under boys. We're going under. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Dude, I felt and I saw a fish just now, but where did it go? Zach just saw it too. Well, alright, yeah, get the cast net, brother. Dude, I keep seeing bubbles. I don't know if I'm like seeing things. Oh, on the surface! Right where? Oh! oh. <laughs> wait, wait. Dude, I saw gold. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Bro, what was that? I saw it too. For a split second, I saw it too. Dude. Oh my God. Okay, so I'll throw my cast net in here, guys. It's giving us a run for our money. Whatever it is, it's a smart fish. <laughs> I saw gold, dude. I didn't I didn't see white. I saw gold. You saw white? Yeah. Oh, you got glasses on. Pull the rest. <laughs> yeah, you got polarized glasses. I'm gonna be able to sling this thing. Looking at it through the camera, you just cover this whole thing. Gotta, gotta. It gotta be it. Gotta be it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know. I don't feel anything. Imagine, dude. <laughs> That'd be so sick. We got a palm frond. I definitely saw like orange or yellow, dude. See, I'm methodically working my way to the left there. You see that? It's a couple inches over. I mean, if it ends up pulling up right here, if it gets scared, I'll be able to net it up, whatever this is. It's going real slow. If it freaks out, I'll feel it. You threw it there. It's either tucked up under next to the pipe or to the left. There might even be space under the pipe. I think it's right in front of the pipe. In that little deep one. You see the smack on that? All right, I'll pull it in slow. That was a perfect net. I'll let it sink a little bit. I'll let it sink, because it is a little deep. Dude, what? No way. What? No, we saw that. I'm pretty sure the camera saw it, dude. There's no way. There's no way. I don't think it has anywhere to go with that bucket in there. It can't swim this way. It can't swim that way. That was money. That was so good. Oh! Oh! Dude, I got it! Dude, it's a huge peacock. Oh my god. Dude, <laughs> this thing is massive, bro. Look at the size on him. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense now. Oh, roll my ankle. Don't die. Don't die. Oh. I think so. I think we'll get it back in the water. Because I really don't want to risk Big Mama's health, but you can see this thing's not looking the greatest. I think it's still alive though. It's slime coat feels weird too. But we'll just run it down here and release it. We'll see how strong it swims off, if at all. Because maybe I wasn't able to get it because it was just like laying at the bottom and not really fighting much. Yeah, I might not have had any oxygen at all, honestly. Try to revive big guy a little bit. It's not looking good at all, you see? If I let him, let him go, yeah, he's been struggling for a while. Yeah, I have no clue how long they could have been there. Oh, he's reviving a little bit. It's still alive, for sure. Yeah, it's alive. I think it'd be too risky to try to bring back to the fish room or like one of the ponds. So we'll just get him back. And this is the main creek. The water feels cool still. Damn, he's taking forever to revive. That has this whole... That's where we just chased that snake here, dude. It goes all the way. Oh yeah, it connects to the main canal for sure. Got trapped behind you, it just completely cuts off and dries into that little puddle. All right, well, he's revived a good amount. We'll just send him on his way. And there you go. Well, I've been netting around for another half hour or so. I haven't been able to catch anything else out of this creek right here where the mud pit is. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna head down the creek by the mud holes. I'm gonna take the risk. All right, guys, this is not safe. Do not do this at home. Don't try to do this. It's really dumb, honestly. There could be snakes, baby gators, snakes, snakes spiders all kinds of venomous stuff in these holes along with potentially plecos and other stuff so we're gonna start cruising down the creek see if we can find some mud holes i already see some down that way and i'm gonna just take the jump and <laughs> put my hand in some and see if we can find anything it's gonna be a little sketchy but it could be really worth it at the end of the day because i do need plecos i just didn't like that one because it was covered in leeches and that second one we found was literally dead we'll keep moving our way down the creek i'll throw you the cast nut before i hand you that net and i'll grab the bucket and we'll just carry on you might want to back up i'm just gonna throw this on the road Perfect. You see that? I'm so talented, dude. You ready for this? Keep, wait, wait, wait. Keep 
that and uh, keep it like kind of close in case something comes out. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're right. I should probably keep it around. I know for certain it is illegal to block waterways. That's why we're removing this because I'm not blocking the waterway. It was just temporary and no fish were harmed. Right, I'm going to throw the bucket over here. Oh, dude, there's a pleco in this hole. I see the very end of its tail. Oh, it's far back there. Okay, I got its tail. It's good. Oh, oh, it's stuck a little bit. Oh my god. This is a nice pleco. That one was just barely back far enough to where I could actually see the tail. I hope so. You're right, actually. I mean, it's a little wet. I think the bottom of it stayed wet because the water kind of runs back there just enough you know what you might not you might be right is this dead oh yeah i could see him puckering are there any leeches or anything on him if there's no leeches we might bring it back to the pond i got like a little ibc tote we could quarantine these things in because at the end of the day nobody is worth risking miss big mama for but we got this pleco out of that mud hole right there oh i just heard him crow <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh i'll get oh i think honestly We'll probably just send him back to the streets. This guy, not really too keen on it. I see some sores on his body. Nothing special about you. You're not special. You never will be. You'll never amount to anything. Um, yeah, we'll just throw this guy back in the water. And then we'll keep going through these mud holes and see what else we could pull up. Oh, dude, there's a snake. Dude, I see a snake. <laughs> Look, you see the snake swimming in there? Well, we were just walking to these mud holes right here. There's a snake swimming across. We spooked him back into the water. Oh. I think I'm just gonna neck it. Oh! <laughs> okay, maybe not. I don't really have safe footing. Oh. Did I get it? No. 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 <laughs> oh my. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ah, yeah. Dude, help. <laughs> help me. Oh my god. Dude, that is not a snake. You're right. Dude, this is one of those swamp eels. Oh my god. They love, love, love any area with a mud hole in it. Good thing I'm a little bit athletic. I'm still a little chunky for me right now, but I still got it. I can still move pretty good. Dude, I'm just gonna dub it out. I don't know what to do with this or if I even want to handle this thing. They can be kind of nasty. They will bite. Oh my god. That's a big one. Matter of fact, it's not a snake, so I could pick it up by the tail probably. No, I can't, dude. That thing is wet, bro. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> See that thing? <laughs> well, you know what we could do? I just got a funny idea. Let's see if Robbie wants to eat it because it's not something I could throw back in the water after catching. And I know people do eat them. So I think we'll end up throwing him in the cooler, humanely euthanizing it at the house. And we'll let Robbie try some swampy hoe, I guess. <laughs> you think he'd be game for that? You think he'd do it? Decide, yeah. Then make a video out of it. Yeah. That's hilarious. I love the taste of them, but I don't know. You do? I love these things. I've caught them from my mom. Your mom eats them? She'd be slurping up the glizzies. She buy them too. They're all over the place. We'll get them in the cooler. There we go. It's just like a snake, dude. We'll get them in here with a jag. Hopefully they all get along well. <laughs> we'll keep on keeping on, you nasty little eel. Where did he go? He disappeared. <laughs> They're locked that thing. <laughs> yeah. He disappeared. Lock that thing up. They could still get air, but he won't be able to escape. And we're gonna keep punching some mud holes. You might die. You might be a fossil, dude. <laughs> keep getting stuck, bro. So hard out here right now, but we got the first hole right here on this bank. I'm gonna be checking. I'm just gonna shove my hand in there. I mean, I should probably, I should probably check this out with the little net thing. I'm just seeing how deep this hole is, bro. Could be a raccoon in there. It could be. I don't know. It doesn't... Oh, no, dude. That thing's deep. It's half the length of my pole. I don't feel any animals in there, but I try my best to get in there. Yep. Because I can, Jack. Because I can. I'm pretty deep in there. Oh! Ew. Oh, my God. Dude, I just felt something slimy. I don't... There might be another eel up there, bro. Oh, oh I got it! Oh! Oh! Okay. It's like, it's a fat frog, bro. Dude, I've never caught a frog out here before. A white... Where you're stepping, the herbicide, it just smells like garbage. Dude, how, where did Kermit come from? Ow! Something just bit me. Done. Yeah, that might be venomous. I might be done. Rob's aquatic. Well, oh no, now I gotta get back over here, guys. I nearly died getting to this side of the thing. But this frog is really dry. He's been in that hole for a while. He might have been avoiding the water because of the herbicides, but I'm just going to get our boy all rinsed up, all muddy and happy. More there you go, buddy. Dude, this thing is huge. <laughs> this would make a really sick pet. Dude, look at the girth on this thing. Oh, he's saying hi. You see that? That is crazy. You know what? We're definitely going to be throwing this in the IBC tote. Look at it. <laughs> definitely toxic, full of herbicides. You think so? Yeah, he would be going crazy right now. Dude, yeah, this is... 
<laughs> this is something. I think, I'm pretty sure it's alive. He's moving. I gotta get back over there so we can get him in the cooler. But I think I wanna keep it. I think, I've never had a pet frog before. Yeah, I'll just put him in the net and trap him. Right here in the water. All right, same procedure with this hole right here. There could be a python in here. That would actually be awesome. I can feel the back of it. It's not too deep. I don't see anything in this hole. It's not as deep as that last one was. But, all right, we got to figure out. Holes, like, literally. What? They're placo holes. Yeah, no, placos dig these. The water line should be literally where my knees are. But for whatever reason, the super cold weather and then the heat flash, they just made all bodies of water evaporate like crazy. Everything's super low right now. But we'll get that frog in a cooler. We got another hole right here. Luckily, the trees have been dropping all these sticks for me, so I don't have to go hand first in these. So I know in this area specifically where we're at, there are a lot of snakes and raccoons. Yeah, this one also doesn't run too deep. Yeah, this one doesn't run anywhere at all. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude, look. You see this? There's a literal... I think it's a raccoon skull. Dude, what? I'll bring it up with the frog. That is creepy. That is weird. But we'll get Kermit out of the uh, little net right here, out of that little water. We were just letting him soak up because he's been just chilling up on the bank. And I'll show you what I just found right here. That is weird, creepy, and I kind of wish I never interacted with it. Things like this sketch me out. You are about to pee in the tar and dying too. Imagine. <laughs> oh no. Kermit, go over there. Be free. <laughs> Don't forget about me, Kermit. Oh my God. No. 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 Oh no, nah, dude. It itches too. I need to get my boots off ASAP because if there's a water bug in here, it's gonna tag me and it's gonna hurt. <sighs> ew, 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 ew. Get these off. Oh, you do not want straight swamp water on you. Mmm, <sighs> yummy. But I'll show you guys the frog and what I found. So, I don't even want to touch either now, because look at that, dude. Look at that thing. I don't know what kind of skull it is. If you guys can identify it down below, let me know. But Kermit was just cuddling with it. God, dude, what is life? We're going to get Kermit, the frog, in our little keeper cooler. <laughs> He's kind of cute. He's super chubby. You see these? Is this meat or just like his stomach? I don't really know, but... He's kind of funny looking. He's really cute. I feel like camera girl's going to love him. We'll keep him all right. Let's go, Kermit. Kermit's now in the cooler. We got lid right here. Right here. Look at this. Kermit's come girlfriend? Here, come here. Come here. Keep walking. Before, Where? Where your hole is. Oh. Oh, my God. Is it alive? Oh, he just kicked. Look. Look. He's kicking. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, what? Been staring at this thing for a Dude, yeah, it's just sitting upside down. Oh, I just saw a cricket, or not cricket, I saw a ribbit. Dude, I think this is a still alive. Yeah, he's definitely still alive. You see it? Popping its lip like that. These things are dying with the herbicide. Oh, it just itself. What? Look, you see it? Hold on, hold it right there. Don't move. Bro, it's literally crapping oh, itself. Got it. Dude, Get what? To the camera. <laughs> oh. It's leaking right now. Oh, he's so, it feels it running down his leg. What is good with you, bro? It's that is crazy. Done. The herbicide is literally poisoning the frog, bro. Dude. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if it was at its normal level, this canal, I'm sure whatever dose of herbicide they used would be fine because it would have like 10 times the amount of water. <laughs> but this little chubby guy, he can't handle oh. the high level. He was just leaking literal dookie. Look, you can see it staining his backside. Damn. <laughs> that is, out of all the things I thought I would see today, a frog leaking crap is not what I would have guessed was happening. Dude, <laughs> what is my life? <laughs> what is my life? But we'll get this guy in the keeper bucket. I mean, honestly, I'll just throw him right here for right now. We'll get him in the cooler in a second. But just in case he dies or something, we'll just leave him here and let him be. It's alive. Well, I don't know, bro. The other one didn't leak like that. So I don't want to really risk it. No. The giant red tail, you're about right. <laughs> the red tail might have a good snack. Right here. Oh, there's another little pleca right here. Ugh. All right, well. Your left is the big one. Oh, I, okay. I might be able to, I think I, oh. I did catch a little pleca down right here. I'll try to step out. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, I think I got it, maybe. No, I didn't. Where did it go? Oh, I see it. I see it. I'm determined to get it. <laughs> Sacrifice the shoes. Oh, wait, that's not a pleco. Wait. Yeah, there is. 100% I saw one. I got it by its tail. Oh, 
Oh my God, dude, these shoes are wrecked. Oh God, I can't wait to take them off. Something's biting me. Something's biting me. <laughs> something's biting me. Ow. I don't know if it's rocks or what, but something's tearing oh, my yeah. ankles up. Help. Uh, <laughs> Help. Fight, Rob, fight. <laughs> fight. But I think we got two more plecos. We got this big guy right there. We got a smaller pleco in the net. I gotta get these boots off, bro. I don't know what's going on with me right now. Oh, are there any bugs? Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. I'm so glad this is this, these are the last nets guys. I do not care. I'm cooking getting attacked by wildlife My my cameraman's been getting tore up by mosquitoes all day, but another really big pleco very funky looking dude again Too risky to put with big mama. He's been eating good though. Whatever he's been eating You could see the food build up in his belly We're just gonna get him back in the canal and let's check out this net right here. Let's see what we got I think we got a pleco in this net. All I see right now is a bunch of bowl But we'll dump this out right here Oh my god. Do you see the reds on its tail? Dude, its spikes are crazy. Oh, dude, this thing is crazy. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 buddy, 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 buddy. Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing is insane. Please calm down, buddy. Can I grip its face? Holy crap. Look at the spines on this thing. Can you get closer? Oh, yeah, I could get closer. <laughs> dude, the spines on it. It's everywhere. Dude, I've never seen a pleco like this before. Well, if you guys can identify this pleco, comment it down below. It's so small, it might go in the 300. It might go in the fish room. But either way, guys, this is not a fish I could pass up on. This fish is crazy looking. He's covered in super sharp spines, bro. This thing is lethal. You put it in isolation for yeah. the other side, come and kill Oh, facts. Yeah, oh yeah, I gotta quarantine it yeah, for sure. All right, well, we'll get him in a bucket. I'll get him in a quarantine tank back at the house. But I think we're done fishing for right now. We're going to go back to the house, check up on Big Mama, get all the stuff we kept and find a place to put it. And yeah, this is a really cool looking little pleco. Very pretty. I almost forgot Dookie in the bucket. Oh my, look, Kermit is just chilling right there. Well, we'll get Dookie in that bucket. It looks like they're both kind of Jay chilling. Now, I have an IBC tote at the house we could put them in. Yeah, all the slime. And then we got this behemoth jack. Dude, that thing is massive. And we got that really cool pleco. I think these are all the things we're keeping today. Everything else we got back in the water. We got an aerator on them, boys. So they'll be great. All that fish slime on my shirt. And I'll catch you guys back at the house. Yeah, I got my mic on. Big Mama, actually. I think is hunting the cichlids right now. You can see her up high. She's looking great since treating her. You guys will see that video very shortly. We've got a school of cichlids in there for her to hunt. So if she feels the need to eat something, she has more than enough time to do so. But we got the pleco in this bucket right here. We're gonna bring it to the 300 gallon tank because I don't think it's safe to put with Big Mama. We will need plecos in here eventually to keep her pond clean. But for the time being, uh, I don't think it's the smartest idea. And then those frogs we caught, guys. I, threw the, I filled this IBC up with some water. I got some driftwood in here, some water hyacinth. It'll be a good little frog enclosure. And yeah, we'll get the frogs in here. That jaguar, I truthfully don't have anywhere I feel comfortable putting it because A, it'll either hurt my fish or B, it'll get my fish sick. And I don't want to take either of those chances. So we're going to get this little pleco right here into that 300 gallon tank and see how he does with the red tail. I'm a little scared to see what happens with him and little red because I don't know if little red will try to eat him. I don't think he's that big, but I mean, little red, super happy and active. You could see him swimming around in there. We got some pleco. Oh, the bird's back, but that stupid bird doesn't realize. I now have netting, <laughs> so the bird can't hurt any of my fish any longer. This pleco is super sharp. Oh no, I might get stuck. This thing is an animal. It's a monster. It's a monster. Super smart, but I got it right here. This thing is like a literal weapon, dude. The spikes on it go crazy, but I got the netting right here. I'm just gonna flip it up real quick. Drop the little guy in there. Boom, beautiful. Yeah, I think he's big enough. He'll probably be smart enough to be, you know, stay away from Little Red. If I ever see any aggression between the two of them, then I'll definitely separate them and make sure that Little Red doesn't eat them. I'll bring them into the fish room or something, but for the time being, I think this tank is probably the best place for it. Little Red is just, oh, nah, I think it'll be fine. Little Red's mouth actually isn't even big enough to fit that pleco in. So I think we're chilling. Yeah, I think we're good. Little Red should be, Little Red should be playing nice. Hey buddy, hey buddy, how are you? <laughs> I can't wait till he's big enough for the big pond. All right, let's grab the frog. We got the first frog right here and I forgot we have that eel in the cooler as well. Well, actually 
The other frog disappeared. I don't know where he's at. Oh, I found him. They're so big, you can't miss them. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, those things are massive. And I think the rest of the stuff, guys, I'm not too sure what we're going to do with. We got the frogs in the bucket right there. But as far as the eel and the big jag goes, I don't really know what we're going to do with them. The eel, we can't do, we can't release or anything. The jag, I might just bring back to where we caught it. Get in some open water where it'll be safe. Because I can't keep it. It's beautiful. It's huge. But I really don't know what to do with it i mean i could theoretically throw all this stuff in that ibc and i might i could fill up the ic ibc a little bit more please don't put that you with the, in the ibc don't put the eel in the ibc so gross and they jump and they jump they're insane they dig they jump they do nasty stuff i had the lungfish that killed my bass eels killed my i've done all this already don't do that please. yeah i think we'll pass on the eel we got to find something for it but these frogs are huge i wonder if we'll be able to hear them at night which would actually be kind of sick i kind of miss it. where i used to live we used to have many many old bow frogs but down here there's not so many <laughs> oh my god dude it's time to get the big old fr oh my god he's kicking strong He's kicking strong. I think they're light enough to go on these pieces of wood. They should have a good time. And this is funny. You know, maybe we could make a whole video just trying to catch more of these things. Because they are huge. I mean, this is the bigger one of the two. You can see the size on them. Look, he's just cuddling my hand. <laughs> dude, that is awesome. So funny, dude. All right, we'll get him in here too. Beef we. Oh, did he fart? You heard that? He farted. What is wrong with these frogs, dude? He literally farted as he fell in the water. Dude, that is so funny. But the IBC toad should be perfectly fine for them. They should do great in here. I'm gonna find a spot for that Jaguar and we're gonna get rid of that eel, guys. It's too invasive. Can't keep it with anything. It's just an issue for everybody. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications if you did. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.